Hey guys, the workout brief for Tuesday, April 7th. Um, let's go over the workout first. So we have a 20 minute AMRAP. Let me make sure I got the whole workout in here. 20 minute AMRAP. Uh, we're going to be running today, so you guys just need to have access to some kind of running route around your house. Um, we'll go over some of the scaling options for that if you can't get outside for whatever reason. Uh, so it's a 200 meter run, uh, 30 kneel to stand. I'll go over exactly what I mean by that in a second. Another 200 meter run, 20 plank rotations, another 200 meter run, and then 10 straight pull-ups. We'll go over scaling options specifically uh, for the run. Well, really for all the movements, for the run, for the kneeling to standing, just in case you can't perform that movement, as well as the pull-ups. If you don't have access to a pull-up bar, we'll go over some of the potential options for that. Uh, as far as a warm-up is concerned, no surprises here. Start out with some dynamic stretching, uh, run through a little bit of a miniature version of the workout, 200 meter run or whatever scaling option you're going with, 10 kneel to standing, 10 plank rotations, five pull-ups, finish up with another 200 meter run, uh, take a five minute break and then hit it. The, uh, Let's go over for the run first, and then I'll demonstrate the movements. So for the run, guys, if you don't have access uh, to a running route, if you're going to be indoors and you can't easily get outside, if you can't run or you just prefer not to, uh, so the options, obviously, if you have a rower or a bike, you can choose one of those. Uh, the 200-meter run, just figure on average, it's about a minute of work. Uh, it's 45 seconds to a minute. Uh, so that should kind of give you an idea as to the equivalent distance on the rower or the bike, depending upon which one you choose. Uh, so just choose an appropriate distance. That was Jen belching in the background, everybody. Um, <laughs> for the, if you uh, don't have access to one of those, if you do have a jump rope, you can substitute either single unders or double unders. Same idea, 45 seconds to a minute of work. If you're doing singles, that should equate to about 100 reps or so, assuming that you can just kind of do them consecutively unbroken. If you're doing doubles, if you're highly proficient at them, that should equate to about 75 or 100 reps, but that would really add up over the course of 20 minutes for that many sets and potentially doing, you know, four or five rounds of this. Uh, so maybe just chop that down to like 50 or something like that if you're going to do double unders. Uh, jumping jacks would be the final alternative here. Uh, same idea, but 45 seconds to a minute of work. So call that like 75 to 100 reps per set. Um, let's go over the movements real quick. The kneel to stand, this is not something we've ever done before or programmed before. It's a neat little exercise. Kind of a variation of a lunge. Uh, so you're going to start kneeling on both knees. I have the ab mats here just to provide some protection for the knees. You'd want to have a soft surface that you're kneeling on, um, especially if your knees are kind of sensitive. Uh, so if you have a carpet, that would be great. If you have Ab mats, if you have some kind of mat, a rolled up towel, uh, anything would work if you have grass, obviously. Uh, so you start kneeling on both knees. You're going to place your hands behind your head just to force you to maintain your posture throughout. You're going to bring one leg forward, drive through that foot, and come to standing. And then step backward, lower yourself back into the lunge, and then back to the other knee. And then repeat with the opposite side. So you see whichever leg comes through second is the one that I step back with first. And you're just alternating legs every repetition. Uh, it's 30 total reps, that's 15 each leg. If alternating legs starts making uh, your brain spin around and smoke come out of your ears and you can't keep track of which leg went first and which one goes next um, and which one to step back with, I would recommend just doing 15 on one leg and then 15 on the other. That would be fine. Okay, that'll make it a little bit simpler. Uh, second is the plank rotation. Pretty straightforward. Oh, and with respect to this, guys, if kneeling on the floor is just out of the cards for you for whatever reason, it just aggravates the knees, it's a little clunky, uh, you could, of course, just substitute reverse lunges. Uh, so same position, hands behind the head, just step back, lower under control, tap the knee to the floor. Uh, you could also substitute step-ups if you have access to a box or a couch or a chair or a bench, something that's an appropriate height to step up on and just do 30 repetitions of that. 
the uh, plank rotations. So you're starting in the top position of a front plank, so top of a push-up essentially. Uh, the rotation is such that you're going to rotate your feet, your hips, and your entire body into one left, one to one arm. Support that position. Make a T with your opposite arm. Come back to the front plank, and then repeat to the opposite side. And these should be done fairly deliberately under control. You're not trying to race through these one side to the other. Uh, it's 20 total reps. Every time you rotate, it's a rep, so it'll be 10 total round trips essentially, uh, 20 repetitions if you count every single time you rotate. Uh, same with those, if, if for some reason going onto one arm is a bit too challenging, you could of course do that from the knees as a scaling option. You can also just hold the front plank. Possibly even do like a little shoulder tap. If rotating is too aggressive, just hold the top of the plank, just tap one shoulder with one hand and then repeat on the opposite side, and just do 20 of those. And then finally, the pull-ups. If you have access to a pull-up bar or some kind of object that you can hang from and pull that'll support your weight, I use uh, our son's swing set, for example. That gets the job done. Uh, but whatever you guys have access to, it's 10 strict pull-ups. You can scale those reps down if you need to. Um, the scaling option for that, similar to what we did last week, would be the table pull-up, which again, I'll post that link so you have, a have access to a demonstration of that, or the pull forward on the floor. Uh, I'll post both of those links uh, from a couple weeks ago so you guys can uh, get a little refresher on those. You could also, of course, substitute some variation of a bent over row. If you have a barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell, backpack, uh, just perform the bent over row as the scaling option, that'd be fine. All right, guys, yeah, so once again, 20 minutes, 200 meter run. This will be posted. I don't need to show this again. 30 kneel to stand, 200 meter run, 20 plank rotations, 200 meter run, 10 strict pull-ups. If you guys have any questions, need help with anything, uh, feel free to reach out. We have a class tomorrow at 7 a.m. with Jen, 6 p.m. with me. There's Hunter and Hope hey, making guys. their guest appearance. Hunter, say hi. Say hi, turn Just around. Just turn around and wave. Hi. Just turn say around. hi real quick. Hi. Say hi to, say the, hi camera. to the camera. Hi. Good. Okay. Oh, hi. Good night, everyone.